So it is finally WrestleMania 40 weekend. And uh, whenever this goes up, which I'm hoping is prior to night one and night two of WrestleMania, I just wanted to talk about how I am so scared. I'm so scared for so many reasons. And I think that there are a lot of folks that are like myself that could probably relate to this. And it doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, you have to be a Roman Reigns fan to understand what I'm talking about because... I'm wearing my flag colors very proudly, and I'm not ashamed to admit that I have always been on the Roman Reigns side of the fence, but I'm talking to the Cody Crybabies as well, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, so don't come at me just yet. This is like a really, really interesting situation that we as fans find ourselves in. We're at a moment in time where I don't think anyone can really tell what's actually going to happen. There's a lot of hints and there's a lot of rumors. There's a lot of speculation going around. And there's a lot of heavy favors leaning into a certain point of view, if you will. And a lot of folks really believe that this is finally going to be the time that Cody defeats Roman Reigns. Or is he? Last year, everyone was swearing up and down that he was going to be the one to dethrone Roman. And admittedly, as a big fan of the Tribal Chief, the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, the whole package, I thought because of what they were telling us in storyline that Roman was going to lose. And to my surprise, he didn't. He won. And I was so beside myself. I'm not kidding you. I was actually like crying. Like, not like hysterically, but like, I was so excited of joy that like, I was all teary and I just like, I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Like I was losing it. But this year is a lot different. There's so many moving parts and it's not just a match. There's like a whole build even towards night two. We have night one with that tag match that involves Seth Rollins and The Rock. The fact that they even have The Rock involved at all is insane to me. This whole bloodline story that, I'm not gonna lie, we definitely got hoed as fans. For those that were expecting to see Roman versus Rock, I thought that, that was actually what was going to happen, and it looked like they were going to set that up, but, you know, car subject to change is the easiest way to put it. And it's not even just about the card. It's really a lot of the fans, and I, I think this more or less had to do with the area that they were in and i think that that is a separate video in and of itself to talk about because had that moment happened in like philly or new york or any other region where the crowds are hot i feel like everyone would have been totally okay with having that epic moment rock out where quite literally the rock would be challenging his cousin roman reigns and this would have been this whole big bloodline finale type of story and not to say like finale as in it's like the complete end of the tale and the, the book is closed and that's all the rock is actually the last missing piece to this overall long ass storyline that's been being told ever since roman reigns tribal chief character was born he's been knocking them down he's been stacking them pinning them smashing them from everyone that's been available to him he's taken out edge he's taken out daniel bryan he's taken out braun Strowman, the fiend aj styles kevin owens even john cena and brock lesnar with everyone kind of coming and going especially when it comes down to like legend status opponents who's even left and the next biggest one that you could realistically do in a modern day is having him go against The Rock. The fact that he dethroned John Cena early on in this entire run was a humongous indicator, at least to me. The whole point of this building of this character is so that he can, without a shadow of a doubt, be remembered as quite literally the greatest of all time. And the fact that we're not getting that, at least right not right now, kind of sucks. Because as a fan as i mentioned i thought that that was the direction and it should have been the direction but unfortunately they pivoted and that's okay because they've at least been able to tell another interesting story involving cody and i guess seth rollins getting thrown into the mix and because of all of what could happen all of these endless possibilities of how night one and especially night two could go i truly have no idea 
what's gonna happen the whole point of this video is i guess to express my excitement for wrestlemania there's a lot of other matches that i am looking forward to and i know that this isn't really something that i do on this channel but uh it, it could be a start i mean you know if there's a lot of like comments and people talking about this as well and i am a huge fan and i've been a fan for a long time and i didn't want to make a whole separate channel just to do wrestling content i just want to talk about things that i am passionate about on this here main channel of mine so there's a lot of things that could happen when it comes down to the cody side of things he'd be finishing the story which has been a term that i'm not gonna lie i have been very tired of hearing because everyone has a story <laughs> like everyone has a story but his apparently is so special and yada 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 i don't mean to sound like i'm a cody hater because i actually do really love and respect the guy i think cody rhodes is an, an astounding human being i've seen him in person after a, a raw show after a smackdown show which he wasn't even like supposed to be on he was like in a dark match and i witnessed this man go around after the show was done going to every single person that was around that ring around those barricades and he was essentially giving everybody their time and appreciation, especially all the kids. And that is really respectable. And I love that about him. But when I have a story that is longer, that's been this very vast thing that they have been building up and you see where they're going with it. To kind of inject him into the mix and to like almost try to overwrite in some way like oh no my story is more important because it's my turn i don't know to me i was just like nah man like i'm trying to see rock versus roman so that roman could beat him and then establish himself as like the greatest 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 of all time with all that and because this is the 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 take two i really think that the build for Cody's win has been a lot harder. The fact that he won Ro Royal Rumbles back to back. I mean, there's a lot that you can argue that, yeah, it's definitely time for him to win. However, Roman's reign is literally very close to overthrowing Hulk Hogan. He's like a hundred something days short. And I feel like since it's right there, it might be enough to justify that. Putting the rain aside, I just feel like Roman Reigns as a character, as something that is so much bigger than what a lot of people understand and realize. He's done so much for not even just his family, but for the company, for the business. He's put a lot of eyes on the product. And a lot of people that don't even associate with wrestling, my own family, for example, I just recently had an episode on the Full Power Podcast where I asked my two brothers that don't keep up with this, that don't watch wrestling at all, and I asked them with no context, who do you guys think would win these two matches? Basically talking about the night one and night two main events. And without hesitation, they both answered Roman Reigns and The Rock. That is an optics thing, and I feel like that type of information really shouldn't be ignored. There's like some sort of presence and an aura that... You can't really explain that Roman brings to the table. He has this it factor about him, especially with this tribal chief character, that it's just immeasurable. He quite literally is everything that he's put on t-shirts and hoodies. And I'm not going to lie, I probably own a lot of them. He is the needle mover. He's levels above. He puts his family above all. He is the tribal chief. You must acknowledge him because he's the freaking man. He's the best. So with that being said, what I'm trying to say is that I think it would do better in the long run to keep the title on him rather than put it on Cody because I fear that you put the title on Cody at first, it'll feel like a very cathartic moment. It'll be really cool. It's like, oh, yes, he finally did it. The story is finished. I'm sure he'll cut some sort of promo saying like, oh, but the story's now just beginning. And he'll go on and defeat whoever. But I feel like his reign will not even mean nearly as much as what Roman had. I'm even more afraid that the fans will turn on him and he'll end up just being an AEW version of himself, which for those that remember, it wasn't really good for Cody Rhodes. I just think Roman as a character is just way stronger, way more star presence, way more star power. And I think even after he defeats Cody, there's much more story to tell and much more to do. And I think that it is just the better option.
And I'll even say this, with him winning, gives Cody even more stock. I'm sure a lot of people would be very turned off by him losing a second time in a row. But the saying is, third time's a charm, is it not? This would be the opportunity to build Cody up even more. To really have him going through this whole arc of, can I actually do this? Am I really meant for this? Am I good enough? Get all that self-doubt and then have everybody kind of like really get behind him. And if it's not too late, which I mean, I mean, I'm probably taking a risk just even saying a lot of this, but have him go through it even more. So that way his story is this elongated cinema feature because everyone loves throwing the word cinema around and to be honest cody came in and everyone was just like yup he's gonna be the one to dethrone roman but you really think after one year of being back in wwe after now he's this big hot thing that they were just gonna give him the belt after establishing the character of the tribal chief that's like i can see why he didn't win so here comes year two all right let's try again still no well i think by 2025 it would justify him finally getting that big win and hell you can even have him win the royal rumble for a third time give him another accolade under his belt being the first person to ever win three Royal Rumbles back to back. Not the sum of how many Royal Rumbles you've won, but back to back to back. So when it comes down to who I really think is going to win, I come back to where I started this video. I have no idea. I can see both sides and I can understand why both sides would work. There's been a lot of things that Roman has been putting out there, whether it's through his documentary, that was actually a very good watch. I hell hella recommend everybody go check that out on the A&E app. It's free and they're not sponsoring this video at all, but I mean, it would be really nice if they did. I'm telling you guys, you need to go see it. If I already loved Roman Reigns, I love him way more. And to hear all the anecdotes, the stories, the the little this and the little that's that happened in that documentary, it's definitely worth the time watching it. And he did say a few things in there, um, kind of alluding to, well, what happens if he loses? He did say, well, if I'm not on top, I don't want to be here. I mean, that could just be a tease. That could just be something that he throws out there to get people to believe that he's really not losing. You could also look at like future dates and see how he is booked for future shows. So that could be an indication that he's not losing the title because it's assumed that, well, if he's going to be booked, then you would imagine that he would still be champion in combination with what I just said before. I mean, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. And then on top of that, he said somewhere that he still has like another 10 years to go. So I'm just like, well, that's great. But at some point, I, I know like he will lose the title just because that's just how it goes in wrestling. But I mean there's a 1% chance in me that's just like, oh, he's going to beat the Bruno record. Nah, I don't think they're going to do that. That'd be crazy. Those are all my thoughts. Um, Like I said, I'm really looking forward to WrestleMania. I'm not going to do any sort of like live reaction outside of like posting on my wrestling Twitter that I have following along with the action, mainly because wrestling is one of those things where I haven't really done anything on a content creator level. I've kept that one thing out of all of my passions and loves that I have, that I do produce content for and, and, or, and have some sort of involvement with, wrestling has been the one thing out of everything else that I have kept purely as something that I go to to be entertained. I've been watching wrestling since I was nine years old. I've been a fan for a very, very long time. I've been keeping up with WWE for all the good and all the very bad. And now we're in like this great booming period. If I was to try to do wrestling, wrestling content in the same light like I've done a lot of the other things that most of you might know me for oh I don't even know if I'd be able to keep up with a lot of it because there's a lot of things that's going on in the wrestling world but I do look forward to having follow-up videos types of discussions where if there's a big angle or something happens I'll probably come on here and talk to you guys about it give my thoughts out and hopefully this is some sort of platform to allow anyone that comes across this video to leave a comment about how they feel and don't get me wrong, guys, like I said, and I will preface this as much as I have to, I really do like Cody Rhodes. He's a great human being. I just love Roman Reigns that much more. So even if you're vouching for Cody to win, by all means, that's fine. You have every right to do that. If you're trying to see Roman defend, then obviously 
throw them up. But let me know what you guys thoughts. Are you guys afraid of what this outcome might be? This is a very big deal, very big night ahead of us for both nights. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cool surprises, probably seeing Stone Cold return, John Cena return. Hell, there's even a chance The Undertaker might show up. And man, I'll just say this, last but not least, I wish that Triple H was able to get involved in a physical way without risking his life. I really do, because that would have been like the perfect Avengers Assemble situation that like everyone is expecting to see, at least on Sunday. So let me know your guys' thoughts on WrestleMania, and I'll see y'all in the next one.